Yo, 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 what's up, guys? If you have any type of alternative belief system or you question things that does not go along the lines of what they call the normal, I hate to say the term narrative, but the the normal, um, you know, stuff, you get called names a lot. Like, people who are, I guess it's like the truthers, I guess that's a group, right? Like, truthers, which I don't think is a bad thing. Like, people want, want the truth, like... I, I want, like, shit to happen, so, because I want to believe that my hunches are right. Like, the world is unjust, the world is a little off, and if you get, if you think of anything that is alternative, you're called a conspiracy theorist. A conspiracy theorist. You believe that people are conspiring to do something to defraud or to to, you know, pull the wool over their eyes and fuck them over. Like, why is that so weird? Like, would you say that the world is more trustworthy or less trustworthy? Like, let's just break it down. If the world was so trustworthy, why do we lock our doors? Why do we have locks? Why don't we have joint bank accounts? Why do we have car insurance? Why do we have fences? Why don't we go back to the common communal way of living, right? Like, hey, man. Take what you need, you know, and try to replenish when you can. Right? Because why? Because people have ill will in them. I think people are born good. There's some, probably people born just evil seeds. But people generally have been t- traumatized or fucked up in this world. And the, the reason why the world is so fucked up, it's an ongoing perpetual system that will never stop unless you bomb the planet. That's the truth. Like, you knock out all the humanity and push, you know, pass go, hand 200 bucks and start again. Like, because there's just too much memory. It's never going to stop. Like, you, you, you have people that have trauma passed down through centuries, right? And you've had conspiring and greed, and all this shit. So to say that people are conspiracy theorists when the world is usually trying to fuck us, I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. And what that means is, is two things is that like i said in that bit that's going people are liking on tiktok if i had a business partner okay and he had a lot of problems uh one of his problems is he was a huge liar but he thought he could lie to a liar right and i always overlooked his lies because they're like baby lies you know okay a couple hundred here a thousand there whatever right i needed a shark to be with other sharks. The problem is he was a drunk shark and a lot of other issues with the shark. But the thing is, I always knew that he was a liar. His downfall was he thought he could overdo the liar, right? And I would say something and kind of the end of our relationship, I'm like, yo, this $30,000 is not adding up. Where did it go? And he's like, he's like, you think I would steal from you? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping not, but yeah, I'm getting the vibes that you would like, and I always knew that you were a little dirty, but like, I thought, well, I would be the last one you'd steal from. You'd, you'd try to go out and make a bad deal or something, but you wouldn't steal from me. You know, you'd be like, Hey, you know what? I'm fucking, you would ask me, especially since I've been so generous with the guy. And when somebody says, you think I'll fucking steal from you, they're stealing from you. You know what I mean? It's like if someone says, if, if you say to somebody, hey, do you have that $15 uh, I gave you? Where I, boom. It's like my sister, right? I, I'm going to use my sisters for a while because I'm just going through some shit. And like, you know, I, I gave my sister, my sister wanted a fucking scooter as a gift. I bought her the scooter because like, I love this scooter. This scooter is incredible. And I bought her the fucking scooter. And then. She, without telling me, said, oh, I can't ride to work. It's too far, which it's not. It's less than a mile. And I'm like, where'd that scooter go? And I visited her like a, a year later. She's like, oh, I sold it because blah, blah, blah. Which basically, the word on the street is she took the scooter and fucking sold it so she could get the money. Because she knew I wouldn't give her the money because it was like a con. And then, she, but she made up a lie about why she sold the scooter, right? And I forgot about it. My brother brought it up to me. I was like, oh my God, you're right. Like, so it's like, I guess it's hers to sell. But like she, she kept it not very long, like a month and sold the scooter. So it was like, okay, how long do I have to probably sell this fucking scooter and get like five grand or three grand, whatever the fuck it was. It's just low level shit like that, right? It's like, it's like, what are you doing? Just be honest, right? So that's how people are. So 
if if why when you're when people are so apt to go you 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 like I always tell you this. I'm telling you, anybody who screams the loudest, I'm not even talking like virtual signaling, which is easy to spot. But I'm talking like that piece of shit, you fuck rap. Like anyone who's that loud, there's a bone in their closet. Like that's just that's just it, right? Like. And I could think of some people online who really yell loud. And I'm like, eh, eh, I don't know if you want to yell that loud, bro. Like, because all roads lead to Rome. Like, I'm not the guy you y- 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 want to, like, fuck with. You know what I mean? Because, like, I'm in. I'm connected to this shit. So I, I can pretty much figure out or find out everything I need to fucking find out. So... If you're fucking acting too angelic or fucking doing this over here, it's just not easy. Go easy, bro. Go easy. That don't look right. And, you know, why am I talking about it? Because I think this is the most exciting time to be alive in terms of our lives. Like, I just think all bets are off. It's just like, hey, man, we have the ability to get everyone's attention. Let's do it now. However you want to do it. I don't give a fuck. Like, I believe in myself. And if this is my new way, if I'm a fucking comedian, newscaster, riffer, whatever, I've already done everything in this business, you know. Sure, I like to act, fucking maybe drop a Christmas album, but at the end of the day, I just want to express myself. So when the people call you a conspiracy theorist, I almost think that should be a crime because they're basically saying, shut your brain down. Don't do that. How dare you think outside the box? And... You have to wonder why they're shutting you down. Just like the thing that's going on right now with the thing we can't talk about. The little thing that you get poked with, right? The fact that if you question it or anything, that's just suspect, right? If, let's just say, if, wouldn't you feel more confident CNN and Fox News and Newsmax? and Don't discredit Newsmax. Put them all up. MSNBC They all have their own merits, right? You know, don't discredit any of it. Alex Jones, don't discredit. They're all news sources. You can take from each of them what you want. Wouldn't it be nice if, 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 like, let's just say the mainstream ones like CNN and Fox said, you know, uh, like on my TikToks, you can just go and look at all the comments. My brother was a healthy army soldier. He had, he had two heart attacks, a young guy. After his second shot, Uh, someone else said, oh, my sister, like there's at least seven comments of people. Now, could they be bots? Sure. And of of talking about adverse side effects. Right. And then there is a lot of videos that you can go on other websites and of people having, you know, bad reactions. Right. And I'm not saying that's all of it. It's enough to scare me off. The fact that like a CNN or Fox News or any of it, you know, or Prime, you know, ABC Prime, they never say one negative thing in any of the mainstream news, right? So we don't live in fucking Charlie and the Chocolate Factory land. We don't, we don't live in, there's not chocolate flowing down the fucking river. Like we don't live in utopia. The, the fact that everyone was like singing and dancing and get that and all that shit and fucking donuts. And that's the first thing that people are weirded out by because it's just like, yo, yo, this is come. Yo, it's like, go sign the deal, sign the deal. Hey, sign the deal. Will you sign the deal? It's like, I hate when I try to do a deal with somebody like, can we get it done? Can we get it done? Can we get it done? That's you're desperate. You're desperate. So why are you so desperate? I ain't stealing from you. You got stole from you. That's desperate. Or, you know, just show me the receipts. Show me where you had deposited $30,000. And if it didn't deposit in your account, then that's fine. You know, transparency. If you have nothing to hide, don't hide it. If you do, you're going to look shady as fuck. So the fact that there were never any news stories that were just like blast the positive and blast the negative. I'm not even saying make it 50-50. I'm saying I'll take 90-10. I just don't remember 10 negative stories about you know what because they got some fucking gunk in their shit you know what i mean anybody who's like mm, 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 mm. i want to open up their fucking books their emotional books their private books all their books so you it's not fair to do that and and people some asshole this chick 
she kept talking to, uh, she kept saying about oh all the nuts online all the nuts online they get together and they misinformation actually that's who you trust are the nuts online yes i know they're bots but show me where the bots are so i know what a bot is they're not all fucking bots okay a lot of hate comments that come at me or don't have a picture right so are they bots but like the internet whether it was designed this way or not you know, it's kind of crazy to give the power to the people because they just, it's the information. You can just share ideas. And that's so powerful for us, right? Peer to peer, you know? It's so huge that people don't realize and talk about that Bitcoin was basically born on the black market because it was the only way to not get busted when people were doing horrific deals on the dark web through Silk Road. And Silk Road, the argument with them is that they just built the infrastructure and whoever traded on it traded. They didn't know criminals were going to do it. And that guy's in jail forever, right? Bitcoin, which is now widely accepted in normal world, was a dark web, you know, piece of, of monetary value. And peer to peer, what I'm trying to say is that, that that whole thing was built off of peer to peer. So, right, Crypto is peer to peer. It's not worth anything unless you value it and I value it, right? We don't need any banks. That's why they're scared of it because they're like, if I can get a house, if I can take my house and you give me X amount of your Ethereum and I believe it's worth value, that doesn't involve anyone, right? I just signed the deed to you. I can give you a Porsche. That's awesome for us. Scary for everybody else who wants to get their fucking nose in, right? So... The term conspiracy theorist and all that shit is completely bullshit and hate because it's shutting us down. And then you have to go, why are you shutting us down? You don't want us to ruffle feathers. This pod is being brought to you by Carnivore Crisps. This is how I like to do business. Uh, Carnivore Crisp is a company that likes my content, so they send me boxes of this. I could probably have it sitting there like that. Through the whole thing. Carnivore crisps. Because they're so good. People, I'm telling you, go to carnivorecrisps.com. They've been so kind to me. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just doing it because they send me tons of product. And it's basically like a potato chip, but it's like chicken or beef. I actually think the carnivore diet's the way to go, in my opinion. Um, carnivorecrisps.com. I'm not even getting paid. I'm just letting you know they're good. So some, some woman... Very, very know it all y, you know, not very inviting of a person. This is a, she made this thing called the conspiracy chart. And it's pretty interesting. But, you know, she drinks wine, so she's already not totally, you know, alert. She's, she's under the influence of things. She made this chart and it went viral. And I've been meaning to talk about it. And um, she wasn't like a really warm, inviting person it was like listen to me i live in a one room apartment in brooklyn and i know everything it's a tiny room but i figured out life and you know i you know i'm never gonna leave i possibly have a cat like if you're gonna know everything you better have a bigger house than me you know you better have a lot of things figured out you better have you better be able to communicate better than me So grounded in reality, there's all these different levels to this, right? You could look at it. So grounded in reality, these were once considered conspiracies, and I'm not going to go through them all. Um, Big tobacco lied about cancer. That was once a conspiracy. And and next to it, she goes, things that actually happened. FBI spied on MLK. That was a conspiracy. Okay. Tuskegee experiment. Syphilis. You know all of that. Into like 500 black men. To this day, Watergate, look, Free Britney, MK Ultra. These were all considered conspiracies, right? And now they're being debunked that they're real 50 years later, some of them, right? So already your baseline is you're all crazy and you're all freaks. But let me start at what was a conspiracy and now is real. But I just want to let you know you're all crazy. Can someone get me a truly, please? Thank you. I live in Brooklyn. I have a one room apartment. My cat ran away because it's too fucking small. I just hate judgmental people. Like if you're a judgmental person, like if you're Odell Beckham Jr. And you're like, want to judge me? I'll take it. Cause like he can catch a football better than me, but he's not going to judge me about my comedy. Maybe he will, but you know what I mean? Like 
you got to have a skill that I know that you can do. Like, I need to know this person's skill to be so high and mighty. I hate high and mighty. This is now this, this, this is, that was called the speculation line, meaning, we're, you know. Now, this next group is leaving reality. They have questions. Her side is we have questions, but the chart is leaving reality if you believe in this stuff. I can just, I can't do them all. Well, Denver International Airport, there's a lot of weird shit there just with the paintings. It's weird. It's fucking weird. And you can go down that rabbit hole of why those paintings are like that. I'm not even going to we in a live, live in a simulation. Charles Manson, CIA asset. That's a sim- Here's some simple ones. Area 51, what about it? It's fucking weird. It's fucking weird. You can't go in. You can't go near it. It's suspect. They don't want you to know anything? Open the books. If we can't open it and look at it, it is suspect. Sorry. This is all a DM. The world is Instagram and our thoughts are the DMs. We want to see your DMs. If you're not showing your DMs, something's going on. UFOs. That's not a conspiracy anymore. There's something happening that the government talked about. JFK assassination. That's, that's, there's t- t- too much weirdness there. Charles Manson, CIA asset. There's books about that. Very, very big. Here's the simplest one. Epstein didn't kill himself. Is that a conspiracy? Like, the cameras were gone. His bo- his his cellmate was insanely huge, an ex-cop. Um, the security guards weren't... I mean, there's like seven things that went perfectly right. It was the perfect day for him to hang himself. Like, you couldn't have asked for a better setup. That's a conspiracy? I think it's pretty pretty obvious. Now, this is... Now, anyone in the next one is reality denial. Reality denial. Let's just take a simple one. Alien abductions. That's a simple one. Well, if there's aliens and the government is co-signing aliens and hardcore fucking Air Force guys who are fucking 17 stars deep are going, yo, what the fuck is that? And there's the Tic Tac with zero to 60 and 0.3 seconds. So if one of those things is real and there's beings on top of it, why isn't there a chance that an alien could have abducted someone? Why is that reality denial? So this is going to fly around and there's no chance at all that they couldn't take someone and go, let's examine this. Like, like, have you ever gone to like Fiji? Have you ever gone like and seen like those little banana trees and like the, the mini bananas? Haven't you ever grabbed one? It doesn't look like a regular banana. And, and you want to try it, right? Like, you don't just walk by. You go, some people will, but there are people like me that grab that little banana and go, this is oh, a mini banana. I'm going to try it. And the villager's like, yeah, you should try it. So why couldn't there be an alien on the ship going, let's grab Fred. And they go, yeah, you should grab Fred. I've been studying him to my Zoltar. Think about how we would operate and then also think about how we wouldn't operate and just know that anything's possible. Cryptids, I think that's like monsters. That could be not that weird. Greta Thunberg is a time traveler. I never heard that, but she does look otherworldly. Um, yeah, the Avril Lavigne thing is interesting. They keep saying she's a clone. I mean, I don't know. I don't, have, I don't really follow that, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say... All right, that, that, those, some of those, I don't know enough about. The next one, it's called the anti-Semitic point of no return, which I, I know that there are some conspiracies that have to do, you know, they talk about Zion and stuff, and I'm not going to get into that, and that's, I don't know anything about it, I don't know enough about it, but, you know, this, the titles, but I don't think these are all part of that. Uh, but okay. So there's actually ones in the, and the, this one, she said all of those last ones are unequivocally false, but mostly harmless. Then this group right now, the anti-Semitic point of no return, which I don't see Jewish. I see, I see the anti-Semitic stuff more in the one above it. I'm not sure which group it is, but one, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, this, that actually, that's the one before. So this is reality denial where we're at right now. Okay. So this this group is dangerous to yourself and others if you believe any of these things. Are you ready? Soy boys. <laughs> I know I'm related to a couple soy boys. That shit is real. You can just look up the amount of estrogen that you get when you eat fucking tofu. Like I had this guy, Gary. God, what was Gary's name? I forget his last name. Gary. Yeah, I forget. But he was like Paul Link. God, he was so fucking funny. And I was broke. I'm eating brown rice and all that shit in early 91. It was all the carrot juice. It was the early LA. And yeah, I would 
bring all my containers. I was getting working out and all this stuff. And Gary, I forget his last name. I think it was Gary St- Stewart. He would say, oh, God, looks like someone had some tofu tits. <laughs> and I had, like, nice pecs. But they did get soft for like a little while because I was eating soy so much because it was cheap. It was supposed to be healthy for you. So he's like, looks like someone's got a little tofu tits. <laughs> it was like Paul Lynn. He's like, tofu tits. So literally I stopped eating that shit because I didn't want no fucking tofu tit, right? Like that is just a real thing. And so there is a soy. In it. I believe that that is not a conspiracy. But this is apparently dangerous. Um... I mean, Biden is a robot. <laughs> I don't know if he's a robot. He's more as a puppet, but chemtrails. I see weird shit in the sky, but I'm, I don't have enough. But I don't think that's ivermectin cures COVID. So if I believe that, it's dangerous to yourself and others. Um, okay, well, I took the shit, and the minute I took the shit, within a half hour, I started feeling different. Like there's been a lot of studies that said it does help. That's just crazy, right? Uh, essential oils cure all illnesses. It might help with some. Oh, the ancient giant trees. People believe that mountains are trees. This is a good conspiracy. But if you believe that you're dangerous to yourself and others. Feral people in forests. Yeah, there are feral people. That island where that guy went, that missionary. They were That was a tribe that never seen people in like fucking 500 years and they killed them. COVID is a bioweapon. There are arguments against this if you look at videos. Now, it's up to you if you give any weight to those videos or if you just always believe... Is Sawyer Jennings on ABC News. Is that the name? I don't fucking know. Or Walter Concrete. He's dead. If you just believe Don Lemon, who I like Don. Don follows me. I follow him. I hope he still does follow me. It doesn't mean that's the truth, but I guess it does, according to this, this woman. The moon landing is fake. I'm not saying that, but there's interesting videos about it. I mean, look, I don't even know what Tartaria is. <laughs> there's, and now I guess the next part is the, uh, is they go deep, the Nazis on the moon. What the fuck is that? New World Order. You could put tons of videos. There's a video right now saying how many leaders say it. This is now considered detached from reality, world ruled by some stream shadowly and violence. This is violence. Now, if you believe any of these, you're violence towards any marginalized group. Are you ready? George Soros. That's just a thing it says. George Soros. So if you, anything that you don't agree with George Soros, I guess it's not, it's terrible. You can't. Illuminati. That was a group started in Germany. You can look that up. I don't know if it's real now, but you can't believe in that or else you're in big, 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 big trouble. New World Order. Again, it's being said. Ugh, I don't even want to... See. Ugh, there's so many more I'm scared. Um, depopulation. <laughs> uh, there's more I'm scared to say because I don't want to get it. Let's just say this one. Let's just go in this one. <laughs> Uh, how, hollow Earth. That's a that's a baby one. There was a new study. I have to find it somewhere that said that there was um, some type of microscope or some some type of device recorded mass massive structures within like the second or third layer of the Earth. So something in the middle of Earth. There was massive. I just saw it on a. I would think it was a. a reputable somewhat reputable site and they don't know what it is it could just be massive rocks like in in like mountains within the earth or whatever like obviously people want to run with it and stuff and you know i'd love to run with it too but you you, you you get called names so here's another example you can't even talk about this our leader at the moment there's compilations of this person doing this all right that's enough for you with the family. Just me and the little one. <laughs> Let me, uh, taking pictures. You know what I'm talking about, and I know what you're talking about. There's pictures of the big guy. Video. Sniffing. Weird. It's weird. It's a lot more than weird, but you can't say it. And if you can't say it, that means there's something going, uh, oh, it's odd. You should be able to talk and ask about anything. Anything. And if somebody comes across as bad or hateful, say, hey, that's hateful. And say, oh, my God, I didn't know, right? I can't believe I had to do this video, but I think it's going to be interesting for people like me. But I just think that the fact that we cannot, that people, I, I, I don't even know. Is truth or a bad word? Here, here, I'll end it on this. I got in trouble because I said 
oh, that person needs to be red pilled. And red pill was like, I I guess it was co-opted by neo-Nazis, which I didn't even know what neo meant, like new Nazis, I guess, right? People that are the new Nazis, right? And all I was saying was red pilled, like, you know, you take the blue pill and it's never happened. It's it's total uh, neo and Morpheus. Or you take the red pill and we'll see how far the rabbit hole goes. Like, that to me is red pill. It's a strict matrix line. I never knew about these other neo-Nazis and these hate groups. I mean, you hear of them, but I don't know that they co-opted it. But since they co-opted it, meaning they used that term, now no one can say it. Why can't we take it back and go fuck them? I'm not with them. They're fucking disgusting. Fuck them. But we're going to fucking say what we believe. So that's what I'm saying. And we worried about marginalized groups, but conspiracy theorists are becoming a marginalized group. And it's not right to call people conspiracy theorists. I mean, if you're shitting in your hand and you're rubbing it on your eyes, it doesn't mean you don't have some facts, but it's just a little weird way to, dis- to display them. But there are people that have gone so fucking crazy, and then in five years we find out they're not so crazy, right? Like, that's just the truth, right? I know what you're thinking. Don't say that shit in my fucking comments. Like, yo, you better watch it, man. Jamie, you're saying too much. I'm not saying nah, nothing. This has to be the new norm, Okay. We need to talk about everything. If they fucking bite, bite back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't be scared. They come for you. You come for them first. You have to, I have to watch my back. No, they watch their back. We watch each other's back. So their back is backed. You understand what I mean? Like, don't put that shit in my comments. I love doing this more than anything else because this is the only things that people, I just want to be understood. Fuck everybody who tries to fuck with us. Be happy, eat bananas, drink tea, have some fucking good meat, do some pull-ups, have some wonderful, lovey time with your lady or your man or your ladies or your mans, whatever. Pet your cat. Do what you love, baby, and the money will follow. Peace.